значит, давайте посмотрим журнал. Ну, в принципе, можно черты, звания, вот эти все посмотреть. На данный момент у нас харизматичный, так, доверчивая психология, детектив, солидный. Получили письмо. Это вот за любые действия успешные какие-то даются вот эти звания. Так, вы успокоили Лизбет Адамс, наука. Хитрый, вы убедили слугу пропустить вас. Искренний. Вы убедили Эмили Хилсбору в своей невиновности. Честный. Запечатанное письмо отдали. Так. Посвященный оккультизм. Плюс один. <coughs> Решительный. Убедительный. Ну и что-то еще будет потом. Так, звание. Так, очко действия одно прибавилось при пятом уровне. Тут еще будет на десятом. Мастер на все руки. Так, больше ОПК. Убедительность. Так. Психология. Отлично. Навыки все активны. Сейчас будем шариться. Надо сюда сходить, вот в малую гостиную. Что-то там поискать. Так. Мортимера нам пока не показывают. Можно прочитать про этих товарищей, которые тут только появились. Жак Перю, один из основателей Парижского революционного трибунала. Перю называют в числе самых влиятельных деятелей в Париже эпохи террора. Перю получил известность, участвуя в осаде Бастилии и пленении нынешнего короля Франции Людовика XVI. Этот вершитель человеческих судеб отправил множество противников и предателей революции на гильотину. До сих пор нельзя однозначно сказать палач он или служитель закона Перу покинул охваченную революцией Францию получив приглашение на собрание от своего покровителя Лорда Мортимера так он Вьольнер Иоган Кристоф не нравится мне этот тип так Иоган Кристоф он Вьольнер прусский министр Вельнер был другом короля Пруссии, Фридрика Вильгельма II, и втайне управляет государственными делами. Бывший пастор и член масонской ложи сумел навязать королю соб свои собственные взгляды и убеждения. Поддавшись влиянию Грузин Крейцеров, они сообща основали свою масонскую ложу, увлекаясь оккультными науками и алхимией. Вельнер развязал религиозную войну и выступил против идей просвещения. Вильнер друг сэра Грегори Холма верит в духовную алхимию, согласно которой высшей материей является человеческая душа. Так, Наполеон. Молодой лейтенант французской армии. Наполеон ненавидел французскую аристократию, духовенство и простых французов за то, что Франция сделала с его родной Корсикой. Он вступил в ряды французской армии, чтобы снискать славу, оставить след в истории и показать, на что способен. Пытаясь добиться чьей-то поддержки, лейтенант привлек внимание лорда Мортимера. Наполеон воспользовался, воспользовался приглашением на совет, чтобы доказать всем свою значимость. Ну и за всех остальных мы уже знаем. Так, ну что ж, как обычно, все надо обыскать.
Discourse on the Method by Descartes. This book changed the way I looked at the world. The only person sizing me up here is that monumental Zeus. I can't be here. What can I do for you, sir? I am at your service day and night, sir. As I was unable to bring my personal effects with me, I was wondering if you could find me a few items. Of course, sir. What would you require? Ah, oh, I still haven't quite recovered after that boat crossing. Would you happen to have any Devil's Thorn by any chance? I, I am sorry, sir, but the Devil's Thorn may be just a plant, but it is also a powerful psychotropic drug that causes undesirable diuretic effects. I would advise against, sir, taking any. You see... Tribulus cystoides is from the Zygophilaceae family, very rich in nitrates and potassium chloride. It was used in India 700 years before Christ, my good fellow, and I know nothing better to perk you up. Oh, as Sir uh, wishes. Here is the herb, sir. May I help you in anything else, sir? There's a pattern with five circles on this chest. Space left. I'll retrieve it later. Так, надо будет иметь в виду, что тут золотой эликсир куча. У нас пять штук их. Hey, these look like pages taken from an ancient encyclopedia. Chronicles of the Amber Princes. As I recall, Dorkin was my favorite character. Amber crystals. Amber. Вот так, когда попадается что-то на этих полках сверху, так начинаешь задирать голову и ходить. Каждую полку так смотреть наверх. The lock is surrounded by a triple circle. Right. 
I've retrieved everything. Amber crystals. The Miller Brothers. Mother expressly forbade me from reading it. A few pages out of an old encyclopedia. This is Thursday. size you up. Chances are, that's the room my mother spoke of. And she also spoke of a Medusa. Should I go and try to find the creature now? Feeleth his death is near, his brain is oozing by either ear. With his brain oozing, it's already remarkable that he can feel anything. Amber crystals. A fragment of amber. Honey, I couldn't have hoped for better. Devil's thorn. I'll keep it. Hmm. 
painting with no name. Ну, собственно, загадка самая первая, самая такая пугающая. И в чем смысл и интерес игры в том, что когда загадываешь, то есть разгадываешь загадки, головоломки эти, и открывается какой-то проход. Прям такое наслаждение получаешь. Но здесь очень просто. С медузой, с вот этой вот бабой со змеями вместо волос. И еще три статуэтки. find out what mother was trying to do with her. The Medusa. A hero armed with a sword. Hmm. A hero with a lantern. And the last one holding a shield. I'll stake my life on it. All the statues form a single scene together. The poor devils are about to face the beast. Let's give them a helping hand. Просто медуза должна смотреть на чувака с щитом. Так как он самый защищенный, она нападает на него. Мужик с мечом нападает на медузу. А мужик с лампой светит на типа щитом. Вроде так. А мужик со щитом поворачивается на мужика с мечом. И угол падения будет прямо в медузу. То есть на... а лампа светит на мужика с щитом. И свет будет отражаться в медузу. Вроде как так. Герой с щитом. Герой с мечом. sake, Emily. You scared the pants off me. Don't ever do that again. Well, keep your nose out of my business, then. I don't know what you're talking about. First my room, now here. Stop following me. You're becoming a nuisance. Wait a minute. Are you... You're not implying that I'm here to court you, are you? Oh, Louie, I'm just stating the obvious. You wouldn't be the first, rest assured. Yeah, this is embarrassing. The worst thing is that it seems to be working. Stop fooling around and tell me what you're doing here. I was feeling a bit peckish. I went in search of the kitchen and I ended up here. Your sense of direction is mind-boggling, isn't it? Well, no matter. I'll tolerate your presence this one time. Now, since you're here, make yourself useful. Look around on your side. I'll do the same on mine. And if you find anything of interest, let me know. Oh yeah, in your dreams. At your service, madam. Ну и тут все очень просто в этой комнате. Просто подходишь, смотришь все вещи подряд, и когда ходишь кругом, кругом, и там где-то будет лежать какое-то ожерелье или что-то такое, то ли ее сестре ожерелье, то ли что, и она как-то отреагирует, надо будет с ней пообщаться. Тут непонятно становится, мер мертва ее сестра или нет. В общем, странная запутанная тема с этой бабой. Пошаримся, все вещи потрогаем тут. 
I found an amazing ring. And there's an inscription engraved on it. Emily, when I see that ring, I can no longer hold back my feelings for you. Oh, stop it. You're being ridiculous. What do you mean? I was just about to get down on one knee. Ancient Greek, translated, it reads, The All Gifted. Could this jar be the original Pandora's box? Emily, I've found Pandora's box. It's not as impressive as I thought it would be, but that's how these things usually go. I detest that legend. Once again, women are made responsible for all of the world's evils. And stop playing with that pot, you'll break it. Come on, let's move on. Emily. What if I open the jar? Would that then make man responsible for all the evils? Try. It'll make a change. All right, can we move on now? I do love your irony, but honestly, are you ever impressed by anything you see? By a chamber pot? No, you really do need to do better than that. Скажу, почему открыл в третьем эпизоде, когда играл. Первый раз. Там что-то его мать. Ну, хоть там и на английском было, но про ящик Пандоры я понял. Типа ты открывал там или нет. Ну, вот я думаю, что будет, если открою. Ну, посмотрим, короче, это еще не скоро. A golden fleece. It's freezing. Hurry up. Cold? You want a rug? It'll warm you up. I wouldn't be caught dead in that horrible thing. That's a pity. The gold color brings out your eyes. And your flattery brings out your boorishness. An unofficial gospel? You'd be more likely to find this kind of book at the Vatican. Nothing special. The library at Buckingham has three. I bet you've read them cover to cover. Naturally. Really? I'm curious. Tell me, what part stood out the most to you? The passage where Mary says to Joseph, Hey, you, shut up. In other words, you haven't even opened one. <laughs> hey, Mortimer is the author of this work. He talks about his passion for art. Guess what I found? The Holy Grail. Older than that. A piece of Noah's Ark. Not that old. This could go on for hours. Just tell me. Caesar's laurel wreath. I can just see Mortimer dressed in a toga, wearing a laurel wreath, strutting around his manor all day long. You have a curious idea of Mortimer. Why? He's eccentric, like all the English are, isn't he? Well, if Peru stands for French grace, then if I were you, I wouldn't be making that sort of remark. <laughs> Well, oh, looks like a pamphlet on different political regimes, written by Mortimer himself. You should see the sword, Emily. It's magnificent. I'm busy. Describe it to me. I think it's the sword of Genghis Khan. Lol. Brush up on your classics. Asian weapons are definitely not this shape. All the swords forged in Asia don't necessarily have a curved blade. Are you blind? It's a thrusting saber, a pure product of the West. 
When you don't get the last word, your repartee goes all aggressive. <sighs> when you finished playing, maybe you can help me search the place? По-моему, она у меня не выходила ни разу. Amber Crystals. О, еще одна очка действия. Отлично. Так, принц. Here's something interesting. A manor in Maine. Hundreds of acres of land in Catalonia. Properties in Shanghai. Incredible. Some of these deeds are over 600 years old and all signed by the hand of Mortimer. I wonder if that's what inspired my mother's attention. How come all these documents have Mortimer's signature on them? Do you think all these properties really belong to him? Maybe Mortimer is immortal or capable of living for a very long time like Methuselah. A first smile. Careful. Keep that up and soon you'll end up laughing. Carry on sprouting inanities like that, and indeed I might. These documents are intriguing, but do you really think that's what attracted your mother's attention here? And how do you know my mother was interested in this room? I didn't know, I just supposed she was. And you just confirmed it. So, do you think she found what she came for? I don't know. She was obsessed with Mortimer and... I must confess, these property deeds are troubling. If that's the case, why would she have left them? Once again, I don't know. We'll have to ask her when we find her. And what's your take? Why keep such a collection hidden in a secret room? Any thoughts? Mortimer has every reason in the world to conceal it, even if only to keep it from people like us. Hey, Emily, we're not thieves. We're only looking. I wonder why my mother didn't make it clear what she was interested in here. She didn't have time to write it down, or maybe she wasn't sure of what she was looking for. Or she wanted to protect her discoveries. It's disturbing. You'll just have to search the rest of the room. Maybe you'll find something. Now what if so? Вроде как здесь запустится сцена. What is that you found? A cameo pendant. What's going on? Nothing. For crying out loud, Emily, you lunged for that jewel like your life depended on it. Tell me what this is about. No. I can't trust a man who sneaks into my room in the middle of the night. Are you really going to use that against me every time we meet? It's difficult to pretend nothing happened. We just met, Louis. I like you, but I can't just suddenly open myself up like a book to you. Listen, Emily. It seems pretty obvious to me that you haven't come here for the sole purpose of sampling Mortimer's cellar. Stop all the clever evasions and just trust me. And why the hell should I place my trust in you, Louis? These two points, it seems to mean that we have already touched these points. Ну, не собираюсь вам отвечать, это, наверное, вряд ли кто будет выбирать. Однажды в комнате она нас уже отпустила, так что слабость у нее психология. Здесь вроде как не убедить ее, это точно. Хотя, хотя, по-моему, тоже у нее это слабость. Сейчас посмотрим. Nothing. I have done absolutely nothing for you. No to this, no to that. You ask for proof of trust, but when you get it, you turn a deaf ear. You are defiant, evasive, and paranoid. Go question your own motives. I've done all I can. All right, fine. There's no point getting on your high horse, you know. So I'm wary, I grant you that. I'll admit, you are fairly reliable. That's it? I was expecting more. Well, I'm prepared to trust you when it comes to choosing a French cheese. But I've nothing to gain by confiding in you any further than that. Nothing to gain? Damn it, Emily. I'm only trying to help you. Stop needing to gain something all the time. Because you think I need help. Just like everyone, you have your strengths and your weaknesses. And there's no use pretending otherwise. Ha! And I bet you found out where I'm weak, haven't you? Psychology. You think your scathing wit protects you, but in fact it makes you blind. No sooner have people introduced themselves than you already see them in a bad light. 
You play the part of a strong woman, and yes, you are a strong woman, of course, but what I see is a sensitive young lady who lacks self-confidence. Stop adopting a defensive posture and you'll see just how quickly new doors will open. There is some truth to what you say. I might have some weaknesses, but I don't need your help to overcome them. And I'm simply not contemplating collaborating with anyone at this time. Do you understand? Ну тут очень просто, у нее уже есть сообщник. Yes, it's perfectly clear. You're already working with someone. Ah, well spotted, Louis. I already have a work partner. I know my weaknesses. I don't doubt that your abilities will be of use to me, but I already have all that, thanks to my teammate. Is there any chance you might tell me who he is? Mm, no, I've already said too much. Consider yourself lucky I've even given you this much. It's extremely rare, believe me. Come on, don't stop now that you've come this far. You know that eventually I'll end up making you talk. Well, since no one can resist you, let's see if you can guess who my partner is. You're a gambler? So, your partner is... Your sister. She's your partner. She's the one you're looking for. Well, I am impressed. How the devil did you guess I had a sister? Virtually no one even knows. When it comes to getting results, you are very good, I grant you that. You deserve to know why the sight of the cameo pendant affected me so strongly. I thought it belonged to Emma, my twin sister. Oh, now I get why you said you had a memory for two. Yes, you can't imagine to what extent though. As children, everyone got us mixed up. So one day we decided to play along. Since then, we have become one and the same. We have officially erased the identity of my sister Emma. Emily Hillsborough. The woman with two faces. Clever. But isn't it complicated? How do you make it work? One of us has no existence in the outside world. We share everything. First for one, then for the other. We dress the same, wear the same makeup, we speak the same. We've learned to act as one. When we accept a mission, we both turn up. This time, though, she went ahead and I was meant to wait for her on the mainland. She was meant to meet Sir Holm and bring back the details so we could work out who would follow up. And there was a problem? She was supposed to return for Mortimer's one week ago. The boat turned up at Plymouth, but alas, no trace of my sister. Instead, a sailor passed me a message from Holm, notifying me of her sudden disappearance. So, my mother and your sister go missing just a few days apart. That's strange. Maybe their disappearances are linked. It's clearly a possibility, but up to now I haven't found a trace of either of them. None of this is very reassuring. By the way, Louis, now that you are in on the secret, you are obliged to keep it to yourself. Or you will pay very dearly. Don't worry. Your secret is safe with me. It's time to leave. Мутная тема с ее сестрой. Сплошная загадка. So, what do you think of our first adventure? I must admit it has been fun by your side. Same here. She's been drinking too much again. Louis, I need to talk to you right now. Good evening, Elizabeth. Actually, this is not a good time. I'm begging you, please, don't leave me alone. I'll be waiting for you in your room, but don't be late. I was sure there was a certain je ne sais quoi between us. Louis, we need to talk now. Otherwise, it'll be too late. Looks like Elizabeth really needs me, but if I start talking to her, for sure Emily won't wait for me. What should I do? Well, 
и она там подсыпет этот опиум или что, выпивку и потерять там сознание. На утро обнаружит его в комнате и она будет там убита. То ли она себя убила, либо там кто-то ее убил. Это я уже не помню. Вроде как женщина ее убила, а какая его мать или какая-то и Элизабет или ее сестра, кто-то из них, короче, убил, потому что рука там вроде как маленькая. Вот. Короче, одни негативные последствия от того, что пойти к этой дуре чокнутой. Она вообще, ну, грубо говоря, сдохнет и никак этому не помешать. Ничего интересного там не будет. Так что идти к Эмили это наш выбор. Excuse me, Elizabeth, but some very urgent business has cropped up. We can speak tomorrow. No, Louis, don't leave me alone. They've come back. Good night, madam. Well, well, Louis, you took your sweet time. What did our poor Elizabeth want? She probably wanted to chat more about my mother. Really? So Miss Adams is somehow linked to your mother? In a way, I guess she is. But I thought all of that could wait until tomorrow. That young girl seems very... Emily? Have I misunderstood something here? What are you doing in my room? And for a while now, the question has been nagging at me. And that explains why I now find you here in my bed. Go ahead. Ask me the question that's been burning at your lips. I know your mother was here to meet someone, but I can't figure out who. Oh, so that's what's been hiding behind all this. We are both members of the Order, Louis. Let's try to be honest with each other. I have followed with great interest your affair in Paris, in connection with Mr. Von Borschert. You managed to steal something from him, if I'm not mistaken. Are you talking about the Book of All Mysteries? Al-Azif? That's right, Louis. A valuable bit of plunder, isn't it? Yeah. When we finally found it, we took it. And where is the book right now? Amazingly, it's right here. Mother took it with her when she came. This is quite fascinating. But just what did Sarah expect to accomplish here? Кстати, вспомнил такую штуку, вроде как в третьем эпизоде встретится вот эта вот и вторая ее сестра близнец. И там, короче, будут вопросы. Вопросы, чтобы понять, кто из них кто. Он вроде как будет уточняющие какие-то штуки задавать. Это было все на английском, и я как бы что-то запомнил. Фишка в том, что был вопрос про вот этого фон Борхерта. И она, я вроде как все сказал, или, или она узнала как-то, пес его знает. Попробуем, короче, сказать, кто его знает, типа, ну, съехать с темы, может быть, может быть, хотя, если это знать не будет, то она ей не скажет. Ну, попробуем, короче. If only I knew myself. My mother always takes a sly pleasure in telling me as little as possible. Oh, poor little Louis. Your mother hides things from you. That's not very nice. No, it's not nice at all. And you? What were you supposed to do once the book was found? Give it to our sponsor, of course. Sir Gregory has more than one card up his sleeve. So you mean home is playing both sides? Right. Enough chatting. Come and join me instead. Конечно, составляем компанию, потому что Well, have a good night. Good 
Good night. See you tomorrow, rested and ready. Sure thing. Лучшая концовка, что может быть. Лорд Мортимер, мисс Дриша, at last we meet.